Hello, hockey fans of all ages, shapes, and sizes. Um, first off, uh, Tate McRae, um, <laughs> for other, uh, uh, I guess, older uh, sports jocks and stuff, um, she's a rising superstar. Uh, shout out to um, Will Smith of the San Jose Sharks and Grinnell for interviewing him. I didn't know who Tate McRae was a month ago, but... She has a uh, video greedy and when I watched it, like uh, driving the Zamboni and all the hockey uh, shout outs and stuff for her and that, um, Will Smith, you're a handsome guy. You should be uh, trying to lock her up on a date before it's too late, man. She's uh, she's taken off like a rocket. So uh, anyways, um, usually clean shaven, uh, been off work for a bit here, um, bartending since... Uh, I guess uh, the middle of the summer and a bit worn out, but uh, I wanted to say this. Um, I've been reconnecting with my tech roots. Uh, um, I People who probably don't know me very well, um, I, uh, I kind of know a few things. I've been researching for like 20 years. If you go to my site, Caesar, um, uh, it sounds like Caesar and um, like see you there, like the peace sign with the Roman kind of... Um, headdress there. Anyways, that's the symbol, uh, C-Y-A-Z-E-R.com. It's hard to find like a good domain name like uh, Google or whatever these days, but yeah, that's, um, that's my 20 years plus of research. So if you type anything in there, a name, a place, a thing, whatever, an event, um, geo searches, etc. Um, yeah, just getting back to, uh, my tech roots. I've been off work for a bit here. And um, trying to find something that'll make me happy. Uh, got really burnt out, honestly. Um, bartending, it's hard on the body. A lot of people say, oh, it's so easy. There's so much setup that goes into it. And um, when you're doing like at an arena or a big event um, for like a concert, shout out to Billy Talent and uh, uh, Jonathan Gallant there. Uh, met him in the elevator. Uh, cool dude, um, Canadian boys. Um, anyways, doing these big events for, for people, it's exhausting. Um, you know, like high ankle sprains almost and my calves, my ankles, everything just feeling burnt out and, um, everything kind of slowed down to a halt and been off here for a bit. So, uh, letting the beard grow a little bit here, um, call it a playoff beard or whatever, but I registered hockeyspirits.com and... I see, I, I showed out to Leafs Nation there uh, with the interview of Ed Belfour, and he's got his Belfour Spirits. I'm going to try to reach out to some of these guys' represent um, representation to sell their their booze. Um, I guess I know the restaurant industry now, uh, fine dining, etc. And I want to help promote, um, like, you know, Gretzky Estates, uh, Prongers. I know he has a brand out there. He's getting going. Um, I guess there's a few other guys um, of course, like Grinnell um, and uh, Wit and Biz of uh, Spit and Chicklets, um, uh, shout out RA for his appearance in Shorzy, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm just, honestly, I'm lost as a person, as an individual, and this is hard to admit to people when you don't know where you fit in uh, society and you know, I know I'm good at a lot of things. I love sports. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm in absolute heaven right now because the All-Star Week and I wish I could be there in Toronto, just can't afford the seats um, and the ticket to fly out there to see my family. I miss them. I want to give them a big hug. So um, I registered uh, Semple Sports. I have an idea for like Big Ten Coffee um, you know, uh, for like hockey players and sports players and stuff, uh, anybody who has uh, wholesale coffee and you can help me with the packaging and stuff, give me a shout out. But I figured I already like since the mid summer, um, before I came out here or early summer, I guess spring last year, I started, um, just doing these hockey vlogs and walk and talk in the park. And it was very uh, therapeutic. And, um, I guess, uh, Moving to BC has been really hard. It's a tough community to crack uh, when you don't know anybody out here. Um, you know, I'm doing my best. Um, I think I'm probably going to head into Kelowna and um, shout out uh, um, 
I, I guess I shouldn't shout them out, but I, I'm going to apply to this uh, solar installer. Uh, they have charging stations and stuff. Um, starts with Northern. So if I get it, then uh, yeah, I don't want to be doing commercials and stuff uh, for some people I don't know yet. But um, yeah, I'm looking at uh selling booze and uh trying to get some of my own brands going around sports uh like a lot of hockey players that love coffee of course to get her going in in the morning so like big 10 coffee um my goss tea like gossip tea uh hard iced tea um shout out to billy talon uh, a lot of uh alt uh punk rockers they drink uh hard iced tea so there's a tip to my competitors like mike's hard and and some of those guys have been doing it, Twisted Tea, they've been doing it for a long time. But um, yeah, I want to uh, uh, work with a local distillery here. I'm kind of uh, hoping to be able to sell some of their spirits along with uh, some of these other hockey guys. So anybody who listens to this, if you're in that that game, if you're representing any of these um, alcohol brands, spirits brands, um, uh, probably leaning towards uh, whiskeys and other things, um, booze, um, versus beer but you know shout out to Jared and Puppers Lager and stuff like that like um if I can and and promote some of those guys like I heard uh like Kevin Hazy IPA which is hilarious um uh the com there's a company out here that um a neighborhood they have like a New England Hazy um and I'll shout out a couple other breweries in town just because they're it's awesome like Penticton is a great place for craft beer um Slackwater and uh, cannery, not canary, uh, shout out to Tyler Johnson for that one. That was pretty funny. Um, and, uh, highway 97 and tin whistle, etc. Um, some of these, uh, uh, yellow dogs, I guess, bought by uh, neighborhood. So, um, neighborhood has such great branding too. So, uh, they'll inspire me to, uh, do some branding and stuff, um, under, uh, figuring out some of these labels that I want to sell. And, Hey man, Jumbo, if you ever, uh, want to create like some kind of whiskey or, or, uh, you know, spirit or something like that, you're, you're a legend, man. I could just see a big beard as being your, probably your logo. <laughs> so, um, I'll sell the shit out of that thing. Uh, looking forward to your retirement, buddy. Uh, that's it for today. Um, kind of on more of a personal note, but, um, yeah, I, um, I guess, did I even say, um, I might've said this already, but, um, yeah, I think Tate McRae is like the next Britney Spears, just seeing her, um, seeing her down the hallway, uh, coming through the tunnel and stuff like that. It reminded me of being in high school and seeing Britney, uh, uh, she was all kind of our crush, um, uh, in high school when she was coming down the hallway, uh, in, um, in the high school there or whatever. So I remember seeing that when I was like a, a teen. So anyway, um, yeah. And I, I know shout out to Jumbo again. He, uh, um, what he did an interview when he's over in Switzerland and, uh, he was singing Britney Spears. So, um, I actually got a, a Brit I gave my son a Britney Spears t-shirt, um, pretty iconic, uh, uh, sent that to him for Christmas. So, um, and a two pack one, I had to go, uh, uh, both sides. <laughs> so, um, maybe he gave that to his girlfriend or his mom or whatever. That's sweet. But, um, yeah, anyways, that's it for me today. Peace. A little more on the personal side. Cheers.